Scarface is a rapper, singer, and record producer from Houston, Texas. He is a founding member of the Ghetto Boys, one of the most influential and controversial hip-hop groups of the late 20th century. As a solo artist, Scarface has released 13 studio albums and is considered one of the most respected and well-regarded MCs in the industry. Scarface, born Brad Terrence Jordan, was raised in the South Acres neighborhood of Houston. He was exposed to hip-hop at an early age and began writing his own raps while still in middle school. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Scarface formed the Ghetto Boys with other local rappers, and the group quickly gained a following in the Houston area. They released their first album, Making Trouble, in 1988 and had a string of successful releases throughout the 1990s. Despite their commercial success, the Ghetto Boys faced controversy and censorship due to their graphic lyrics and violent themes. This only added to their notoriety and helped to establish them as one of the most influential groups in the southern rap scene. Scarface's solo career began to take off in the late 1990s, and he released his debut album, Mr. Scarface is Back, in 1991. The album was a critical and commercial success and solidified Scarface's position as a major force in the rap industry. In the years that followed, Scarface released a number of highly acclaimed albums that showcased his unique style and storytelling ability. His lyrics often dealt with gritty, street-level themes and tackled issues such as poverty, drugs, and violence. But despite the heavy subject matter, his music was also infused with a sense of hope and resilience. In addition to his solo career, Scarface has also made a name for himself as a record producer, working with a wide range of artists including Nas, Jay-Z, and Snoop Dogg. He has also appeared in several films and television shows, further cementing his status as a cultural icon. As a rapper, Scarface has been able to build an outstanding career. He established himself as one of the leading figures in the southern rap scene with his work in Ghetto Boys and further solidified his place with his solo career. Scarface's flow and delivery are often compared to that of legendary rappers such as Rakim and Big Daddy Kane. But his unique style, storytelling ability, and powerful lyrics sets him apart from other MCs. In conclusion, Scarface is one of the most respected and influential figures in hip-hop. His career, spanning several decades, has been marked by critically acclaimed albums, controversy, and a reputation as one of the greatest MCs of all time. Scarface's music is not only a reflection of the tough streets of Houston, but also a reflection of the struggles of the inner city and his message of hope, resilience, and determination has resonated with many people around the world. Scarface is a rapper and his impact on the industry. Here are a few more points that could be included in an essay about him. Scarface's influence on other artists, Scarface's unique style and storytelling ability has had a significant impact on many other artists in the hip-hop community. His music has been widely cited as an inspiration by many popular rappers, particularly those from the South. His unique style of rapping, characterized by its slow flow, vivid storytelling, and introspection has become a blueprint for many other artists. Scarface's impact on the Southern rap scene. Scarface is often credited with helping to establish the Southern rap scene, both as a member of the Ghetto Boys and through his solo work. He helped bring Southern rap to the mainstream and paved the way for other Southern artists to achieve success in the industry. Scarface's legacy and ongoing relevance, despite having released his first album more than 30 years ago, Scarface's music continues to be relevant today. His albums from the 90s and 2000s remain popular and his influence can be heard in the music of contemporary rappers. Scarface's politic stance, Scarface is known for his lyrics that address social and political issues such as poverty, inequality, and police brutality. Through his music, he has made important statements about the state of urban America and the black community, bringing attention to issues that are still very relevant today. Scarface's versatility as an artist, even though Scarface is primarily known as a rapper, he is also a talented singer and a skilled record producer. 
He is known to experiment with different genres and styles in his music, which has helped to keep his sound fresh and relevant throughout his career. Scarface has released 13 studio albums throughout his career, starting with Mr. Scarface is Back in 1991 and most recently Deeply Rooted, The Lost Files in 2018. Here is a brief overview of some of his most notable albums. Mr. Scarface is Back, 1991 Scarface's debut solo album, Mr. Scarface is Back, was released to critical acclaim and commercial success. The album features production from famous producers such as N.O. Joe and Mike Dean and features guest appearances from other members of the Ghetto Boys. The album's lyrics focus on Scarface's struggles growing up in the South Acres neighborhood of Houston and the harsh realities of street life. The Diary, 1994 The Diary, is considered one of Scarface's most personal and introspective albums. The album features a more introspective Scarface as he raps about his inner turmoil, personal relationships, and his reflections on life. The album featured production from Mike Dean and guest appearances from Ice Cube, Too Short, and Dr. Dre. The Fix, 2002 The Fix was the fifth studio album by Scarface. This album was released on Def Jam Recordings and produced by Mike Dean, Kanye West, and more. The Fix was well received by critics, who praised Scarface's lyrics as well as the album's production. The album features appearances from Jay-Z, Beanie Siegel, and Nas. My Homies, 1998, and My Homies Part 2, 2000 My Homies and My Homies Part 2 were two of Scarface's most successful albums. Both albums were produced by the great Mike Dean and feature appearances from other popular Southern rappers such as UGK, and Master P. Both albums were characterized by Scarface's introspective and personal lyrics and their Southern style production. Deeply Rooted, The Lost Files, 2018 Scarface's most recent album, Deeply Rooted, The Lost Files, was released almost three decades after his debut album. The album features previously unreleased material as well as new songs. The album showcases Scarface's consistency as an artist and his ability to remain relevant even after many years in the game. Throughout his career, Scarface has been signed to a number of different record labels. Here is an overview of some of the notable record deals that Scarface has had. Rapalot Records, Scarface began his career as a member of the Ghetto Boys, who were signed to Rapalot Records. The group released several albums on the label throughout the late 1980s and early 1990s, including their breakthrough album, Grip It On That Other Level. Def Jam South In 2002, Scarface signed to Def Jam South and released his fifth studio album, The Fix, which was produced by Mike Dean, Kanye West, and more. The album was a commercial success and featured guest appearances from Jay-Z, Beanie Siegel, and Nas. Asylum Records, in 2004, Scarface signed to Asylum Records and released his sixth studio album, The Untouchable, which was also produced by Mike Dean and included guest appearances from Zero, Nas, Jay-Z, and more. Bossolini slash Rapalot Records, in 2008, Scarface returned to Rapalot Records and released his ninth studio album, Emeritus, produced by Mike Dean and N.O. Joe. This album included guest appearances from Nas, Zero, and more. Face Mob Music In 2018, he released his 13th album, Deeply Rooted, The Lost Files, on his own label Face Mob Music, in which he talked about his career and personal life, showing his continued evolution as an artist. Scarface has had several record deals throughout his career, but his longest and most productive partnership has been with Rapalot Records, which was the label that signed him at the beginning of his career and that he has returned to many times. He also had a successful partnership with Def Jam South and Mike Dean, who produced many of Scarface's albums and contributed to the development of his sound.